Hey guys, so I wanted to start the conversation today. Well, not start, I'm, I'm gonna say start and finish because I'm gonna go into another topic on my next video. But I wanted this one and done conversation about e bikes. Now, obviously, this is not an e bike, this is my Escar Jaffe, and I don't own an e bike, but I have friends that do. And everybody has their opinion about them, and I wrote them. They ride nice. So, when you're considering getting a mountain bike, maybe you already have some mountain bikes, maybe you have some old mountain bikes, maybe you've never had a mountain bike, and you're new to mountain biking, but should you consider an e-bike? And I'll put it to you like this. I went the opposite direction when I was early on with my mountain biking because where I'm at right now, many people know this is Brown Mountain. And let me see, I'll walk over here and give you a little perspective. And it's 2.6 miles up here. It's not that far, okay? And I had regular cross-country mountain bikes when I started riding bikes, okay? My first one was kind of heavy. It was a rigid mountain bike. Then after that, I got them a little bit lighter and a little bit lighter. And then that's when my friends started riding single speeds. And e-bikes weren't even around back then. So I thought to myself, well, it's not that far of a climb. And if I ride at single speed, I'm getting a better workout because it's just a short climb and it's probably gonna make me a better rider. And I don't know if I'm a better rider, I'm okay, but I just got into it. And then years and years ago, I mean, I guess e-bikes really kind of started getting popular right before COVID. And then when COVID hit, um, they, they kind of, a lot of them, a lot of bikes, the e-bikes really popped off then. And now they're very popular. So ask yourself this, is it something that you really enjoy? Is it your hobby? Is it what you want to do? It, are you, you know, you don't have to give your friends an excuse or a reason and say, you know, I'm just getting back into biking. That's going to help me. It's kind of a workout too. Well, I mean, walking up this mountain's a workout. So you can walk your, your regular bike up this mountain and, and probably get more of a workout than you would ride an e-bike. I mean, I don't know. I, I, I like I said, I've, I've only demoed an e-bike and that was at, in Las Vegas at Interbike World at, in Boot Lake Canyon at the Outer Bike. Um, but e-bikes are, they're nice. And some of them are very expensive. Some of them are not as expensive as some of my other bikes. But it's really a personal decision. Do you feel like that's something that's going to make you more active, get you off the couch? Then I say go for it. That is your reasoning. And, and you know that if you had, a, you know, just dreading riding some steep mountains near your house or just dreading riding it because you just, you don't like to, to pedal and, and under exertion and, or you want really, you want to pedal a bike with really beefy tires and substantial tires and, you know, that's hard. You know, these tires on here are dragging, you know, for, for, um, for a single speed. And um, I have to keep a little bit higher pressure because of that. So you have to think about it, what you want. It's your decision, it's your life. And only you are gonna be the person that gets you fit. No magic pill, no e-bike, no special diet, no keto, no paleo, no, you know, coconut oil in your coffee or butter in your coffee. That's not, that, none of those magic things are going to get you fit. What's going to get you fit is you being engaged and being active and actively pursuing a fitness lifestyle. And if you think an e-bike 
is a conduit to that. It will maybe assist you. It's not going to replace it and it's not going to do it for you. Then get an e-bike. Go for it. Um, I have nothing against them. And I see guys riding e-bikes up here all the time. Like I said, it's only a 2.6 mile climb. Um, I don't understand it with that short of a climb. It seems like kind of like buying a riding lawnmower if you only have a, a small little patch of a front lawn and you're riding a lawn riding lawnmower. So, you know, um, I, that's my theory. But, hey, these guys are enjoying themselves. More power to them. And they're getting outside and riding as opposed to just sitting on the couch and watching sports and getting fat and and ruining their health so i from that perspective i totally agree with getting whatever is going to be your conduit into having a healthier lifestyle you should do it that's why it's fit for life ride for life that's kind of where i was going with this channel in the very beginning so you guys if you want to get an e-bike get one hey who knows maybe tesla We'll make an e-bike. That would be pretty cool. I'll talk to you guys later.